G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So today we're going to make a video about a little DIY filter for a little 30 litre tank that I have on my kitchen bench. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so um, let's have a look here. We've got to turn the light on. I think it's actually called CO2 control because um, the, the switch is actually from my old CO2 setup. So this light here, I've just had it off, not on at all. Um, so the thing is, there's a huge algae bloom in there and um, I'm going to place my bets on the fact that it's the... Um, it's a bacteria bloom and that's because this tank is not filtered. I was trying to do a non-filtered tank but it is just not my style and it hasn't worked for me. Um, I've been feeding extremely light to the fact that the endlers almost look like they are malnourished. So um, I've actually got another tank identical to this that we're going to make into a feature tank. Uh, but until I need some le squares of Lego, which I have to go get off a friend, um, until I get that Lego, I might actually just put the filter in this tank and we'll get it running. And then when we build the new tank, we can transfer it over. So because this tank is on the kitchen bench, I don't really want, want to run an air pump under it or anything. So I went to Bunnings and got this little 200 litre per hour pump. The what funny thing is, check out the size of the power cord. Um, I'm guessing because it's designed to be outdoors, um, like that's got to be like weather weather grade power cable. Um, can I just say something? But so this is a pump designed for a water a water feature pump. Um, so say you put this on a water feature and you lift it half a meter. The flow is 80 litres per hour. Um, I feel like 90% of the people that buy this pump will be disappointed. Um, I'm 100% sure that 90% of people will be disappointed with this pump. Um, it's perfect for what I need. It was like 22 bucks or something. 21, 29. Um, I feel like um, like $19 is for the power cord and then $2 is for the pump. Um, but that's all right. It's perfect for what I want. And uh, um, I'll go get the rest of the pieces and I, I probably should build it in the shed, not on the kitchen bench. All right, guys, we'll walk past the pond on the way out. It's clearing back up. Um, I think off camera... I started to clear the sludge out the bottom of that first filter. So the first chamber is like a sediment filter and um, it messed the pond up hardcore. You know like a fish tank when you clean the filter it messes up. Imagine that times 10 on a pond and then it, in, it, instead of being clear the next day it takes like a few days to be clear again because there's no fine filter foam or anything. It's got to settle back into that filter chamber. Um, I took probably like 20 litres of sludge out, if not more. Um, hey chicks. They've filled their water bottle up with leaves. These guys are insane. Ready? i got to finish their hutch because they've got to move. Um, so many tasks to be had. All right, I'll be back. So kind of lied, but kind of didn't. I said that this is gonna be a DIY filter. It's still DIY, but it's a DIY modification to one of these bad boys. Um, so I got these years ago, maybe like five years ago. I can't even remember where from. Someone gave them to me, or I think I bought them off Gumtree for like 50 cents each. I bought like 50 of them. Um, but the problem is they're air driven and I don't want air driven in that tank. So generally, normally what happens is the air line goes on there, pumps air down and then that's an air lift. Um, you guys know I love a good air lift. 
but um, I'm going to try and put this pipe onto this pump somehow. Oh my god, you're joking. Is it, is it still DIY if that slips on that easily? I don't know, you guys drop a comment. So that's literally just going to drop in there. Um, should have enough room for the pump. The only problem here is I need to get the power cord out somehow. Um, I might just, I'll notch this with a grinder I reckon. Alright guys, so um, I, I wrapped an um, elastic band around the power cord to bend it up because it was in the way, like I couldn't get the pump in the right spot. And then that top plate, if I just sit that underneath there and eyeball it, I can actually kind of guess if the pump's in the right spot. Um, it's got suction cups on the bottom, gave a bit of spit lube and stuck it down. It's So that's, that's pretty much in the right spot there. It's going to be the perfect little filter for this tank. Um, I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. It's a tough decision. I wouldn't mind like two marine pure block balls there and then um, clay beads around it. But um, I might, I don't know what to do. I need to go fishing for media. All right guys, so I found two marine pure balls that I robbed and then I found some coral. It wasn't so crushed, so I got the hammer out and I, I crushed it up a bit. Um, this is going to kind of be like a bit of a, um, what's the word for it? Almost art. Like I've got a, uh, art's the wrong word. You know like the mosaics guys that are going to pick out the right size pieces for their, um, well, mosaics. Um, that's pretty much what i got to do here. Um, I can't remember if this is from freshwater application or whether this is actually from my saltwater tank. I want to say it's from my saltwater tank, but I'm not really sure. So, like, funny story. When I first started setting up a marine tank, I thought I could go on the budget version and buy... Um, dead rock, what's it called? The rock that's not alive. Um, base rock. And um, cycle it myself. I learned, uh, I learned that you couldn't. I had a really good bloke helping me. His name was Chris and um, he actually ended up giving me a heap of live rock for free. Because, um, well, I didn't tell the whole story. I bought some live rock and it ended up being contaminated. I can't remember what it was. Um, but basically it was contaminated to the point I couldn't use it and I posted on the Perth Marine page saying that I don't know if I should try save the rock or or get new rock and this guy Chris he um we need a device to stand on he he um contacted me and he had bought a second-hand marine tank and didn't actually need the live rock in it and gave me the live rock for free. And um, it was meant to be just live rock and then all of a sudden like 20 different corals started appearing on the live rock. Oh, I gotta do a members video as well. I just remembered. I've got a really cool concept for a tank idea and um, I'm gonna ask the members if they think it's a good idea um, and get off my song oh, I gotta clean the shed guys it's not fair well it's not messy messy but it's not fair on the wife she cleaned it real good and I gotta keep it that way um, anyway I'm gonna cut this sponge off camera I'm a little bit sad. This is one of my um, tank dividers with like the, the the rigid plastic in it, but I don't have another piece that will suit. So the dumb thing is I've got like 
five sheets of this at work and I forgot to bring it home. Alright, rest in peace tank divider. Look, there you can see one of the little bits of plastic that I was saying is in that. That'll come in handy. I can always make a new divider out of the sheets I've got at work. Alright, so I made this super snug. I actually am surprised how well I made that fit. And um, the reason being is we don't want the endless getting the fry getting sucked up. Um, I, I tried to keep it spacious from the top. Um, I might fit a little bit more media in there actually. Um, yeah, screw it. Let's fill it properly. Alright, so I filled it up. It's pretty much the sponge there is touching the, just touching the plastic. There's a little bit of a gap around that area there. There's a hole there that I'm worried the fry will go in. So um, it's good that there's a gap there. So if they do go in, they can get out. Um, or also, there's the hole for the power cord. Um, I could block them, I guess. Nah. I'd rather a nice little spot for the fry to be able to get out. So then, this plate goes on the bottom here. It's almost worth, like, gluing some weight to that plate, hey. I don't really have anything that I could glue on there. I could glue a piece of glass on there, but I don't know if the weight of the glass will actually make much difference. I could just sit a piece of glass in there, not glue it. See if I can find a piece of glass. Alright guys, I siliconed a piece of 6mm glass under there. It's not pretty. Um, the, the reason I put glass on there is because the future rendition of this tank is going to have um, sand in it. So I wouldn't be able to... I don't think the sand will be heavy enough to like pack under there and hold it down. But I don't know if the glass will be heavy enough either. I could pull an old sponge filter base apart and steal the stone out of it. Uh, not stone, what's the word? Um, is it lead? I'm pretty sure they've got lead in the bottom of them. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to try put it straight into the corner or just try to put it towards the front and see if it floats. I don't really expect that piece of glass to silicon all that well. Um, after all, I didn't even let it dry and also um, it's on plastic it's not on glass so silicon doesn't really stick to plastic that's sinking guys that's cool the coral might actually be heavy enough for it to sink now that I think of it alright guys so I got it in position I got the gravel up against it uh, the tanks a mess um, you know how it is when we stir the tanks up um, looking at it right now I think there's going to be a rendition 2 of this on the new tank. Um, on rendition 2, I'm definitely going to paint it black on the inside. Or maybe the out. What do you reckon, guys, on the inside? Um, obviously, the paint won't last forever, but the less I clean it, the longer the paint will last. So it's a good, <laughs> it's a bad um, reason to not clean it. Oh, that's way more flow than I was expecting. I know you guys. Um, shit. I'm gonna have to build a elbow for that. It can be done, it just might be a mission. Maybe I've got like an old spray bar. That's way more flow than I was expecting. It's not the flow that's the bother. I like keeping the water level on this tank right at the surface and the reason I didn't want bubbles is because um, I, was, I was honestly hoping the filter would be way weaker than that. I mean more flow is not necessarily a bad thing for the fish, it's a good thing for the fish so I'll say the filter is a success but um, the um, the filter's a success, but the layout isn't a success. Um, I've got heaps of these filters, so I've got heaps of that pipe. So I could make a 
make one of them with an elbow by melting it and bending it uh, it would be look at the length of it it would be right on the end of the length of the pipe um, I need like you know how you can buy those little in-tank pumps with that spray bar and they're pretty much the same size as that pump but they're tall because they've got the little sponge underneath I need one of those spray bars I reckon that would be the perfect diameter for that I'm gonna leave that running like that anyway um, what's the worst that could happen I just can't feel it right up to the height that I usually like um, if anything surface retention is probably good for the fish um, but there's that much algae in shit in there I don't think the oxygen levels would be low I don't know what do you guys think comment below if you think that the algae and the guppy grass will be what's it called I know that I know it's called pearling but oxygenating the water that filter's putting in work but I can the tanks already cleared up a bit since I started filming this clip I'll leave that running for an hour and then um, we'll film an outro, hey? Alright guys, check it out, I cleaned it up. Um, the filter made a huge, like cleared it up heaps quicker than usual. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I pulled out a heap of the hair algae. Um, also a heap of the guppy grass. But like, I could grab the hair algae and I, I managed to like, I reckon I pulled out like... 60% of the algae um, There's an option here if I'm pretty sure I drop a comment if I'm correct here or not I'm pretty sure if I got like something like a bed sheet or something and Covered the tank for like three days. I think the algae would die um, That four foot there I just turned the light off for days and it was enough for the algae to die but the problem here is it gets the direct, more direct sunlight. So um, I've had the light off for a few weeks, but I think the problem is that it's too much direct sunlight for the light off to actually work. I might need to cover it, cover it. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap that video up there. Um, rendition two is probably not actually very far away, maybe even in the next few days. Um, the problem is the tank is out the vac and it's and it's feral like it's um, stained with leaves and that so I've got to get the barkeepers helper out and really scrub it or is it barkeepers friend I think it's called um, but anyway uh, if you like this video but give it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe for more hit that little red button and I'll see you guys tomorrow peace out